In today's video, we are going to discuss gameplay mechanics that we got from 2022 leaks, all buttons, prompts, objectives, interactions, and much more. Also, we are going to talk about house robberies, keeping people hostage, and GTA 6 online ideas. Hope you will enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe and let's start. So, first of all, we're starting with an information that Granite Auto 6 is rumored to be over 150 gigabytes of storage minimum. This is crazy and just shows how massive the map will be. Also, this Lucia pre-alpha movement and graphics is insane and the trailer was even better as GT6 here we go, so probably that's how it looked like. And uh, I would say that if these me mechanics we have in the game already, uh, like we can end, I actually think like it would be even better if we not open the door, but we literally just come into the door and it opens like we used to have in previous games. But I guess uh, if she touches the door, it will be even better. So, I mean, it's just the 2022 leaks, it's just old alpha version leaks, and we might get even better with an actual gameplay when we're going to get it. It's just the, it just the alpha version and we're going to discuss it today so but first of all we go with missions if one mission from any previous game uh, could return to GTA 6 which would you choose obviously the mission wouldn't be line for line action or for action but it's generally centered around the same idea despite how simplistic it is I would choose Kaida Libre from GTA 5 and I can imagine bombing through the Evergrass on dirt bike, uh, moving north towards the suspected desert area, chasing something. Something about the simplistic cross-country chase really appeals to me. What about you guys? What do you think? Write down in the comments what old mission you would like to see in a GTA 6. Yeah, it would be rebranded, it would be made differently, but I'm going to say that it would be amazing if we have something uh, from other games uh, combined with a new type of game, as we might might get nostalgic, some easter eggs and all of this stuff would be pretty amazing to see in a new game. Revisiting the leaks gameplay mechanics only, I decided to look over the leaks again and took note of the things seen strictly from a gameplay perspective. No story map or dev data analyzed and it's important to remember a lot of these mechanics could be drastically changed as removed and was, well, as well removed and by release or they are just placeholders functions uh, from the GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2. And isn't that a hypothesis I denoted with the with the question and uh, at the end? So player and PCs interactions options change based on proximity maybe hostage rob restrain 310 and melee staff uh, rob uh, police surrender and R1 to alternate interaction menu between Jason while controlling Lucia or police. Prompts and objectives, time until cops dispatched, um, cops arriving, rob the dinner, rob the cash register, escape the dinner. We can name discover it, ability to discover things like Red Dead Redemption 2 compendium, robbery, CCTV recording, door panel locked, as well as the new contract uh, name and what up message received. Player gameplay interactions. During a robbery controlling Lucia, tap R1 to check in with Jason or hold for more options. Upon entering police cruiser, tap D-pad left to access vehicle's control menu or hold D-pad left to bring up the quick options. More in-depth car options beyond radio and horn sirens on board computer access for police vehicles. Has open container uh, we'll go and cut open uh, shipping container lock to steal contents. Stash cash stack, put money stack and loot back. Also Jason Eagle Vision for identifying robbery valuables and CCTV cameras. Individual and shared inventory. Uh, weapons, equipment, gear, selection wheels, as there are various inter uh, iterations of selection wheels shown throughout the clips, but the most in depth clip described below. Primary and secondary hand spot to equip weapons and or equipment in each hand individually, as it goes to ability to swap handness while holding weapons. Also loot bags as duffel bags, uh, maybe it implies different bag types. So why inspect B bag, action to drop an entire bag, select contents, maybe select contents, and also clothes. Quick items usage with a d-pad, trauma kit up, uh, painkillers, right, parachute down. Take assault rifle, pick weapon up of the ground, holster, sidearms, ability to quick drop, as well as uh, uh, it has actually weapon in use by pressing right stick or X to drop while highlighting the weapon in the wheel. Maybe a functional holster, which is police officers actually draw sidearms from hip. 
spend magazine remain lying on the ground, as well as ability to stand, crouch, go prone, shoot over cover even while standing, uh, crouch height while taking cover in variable depending on the height of the cover, rather than preset crouch height. Arms, uh, long weapons uh, used to cover face while taking fire, personal vehicle icon appears on map, it maybe implies to vehicles ownership like in GTA 5, also switch to Lucia, maybe hold down on D-pad, also if we go dive RB, uh, it will be while swimming, uh, throw B, uh, ability to throw injured dead NPCs off your back while carrying them, enhanced tails uh, mechanic and or body co-op system. Combo while standing in front of gumball machine, also ability to sit as a passenger in a non-taxi vehicle, NPCs, as well as Jason Lucia when not player controlled, can drive player to desired destination and other from fast of travel. You already talked about taxis in a previous video, if you wanna check it out, just go ahead uh, there. Pickup appears when walking by drink can on the ground interaction circle, also appears over glass bottle lying in the grass in later clip. An ability to pick up random objects off the ground like in GTA 5. Also, we go with weapons as a melee knife, baseball bat, pull cue, throw on the grenade, flashbang, small grenade, fire, fire bottle, molotov, hang up, uh, handgun, pistol, Glock 19, polymeter pistol, HK P2000, Beretta P PX4 store. SMG, micro sub machine gun, compact sub machine gun, shotgun, pump action shotgun, rifle. Uh, appears identical to the Ocelot rifle, perhaps an earlier dev build name for same weapon. Conceivable attribute for weapons is interesting because it implies not all are, which makes sense and there is a dev override for a long rifle in the clip. Assault rifle M4, unknown in game name, AK-47. LMG, heavy machine gun. Sniper, sniper perhaps another earlier dev build name for one of the same rifles it listed. Hunter sniper, bolt action sniper. Also, uh, MISC ro rocket uh, launcher, spear gun, ammo rocket, heavy sniper, shotgun, rifle, pistol, spear. Equipment gear for exploration, case and robbery targets, torch, uh, flashlight, flashlights, binoculars for stealing vehicles. It might be a slim gem, perhaps needed to steal average common vehicles. Immobilizer bypass allow you to bypass factory security system when installing uh, remote start and keyless entry systems in vehicles. Perhaps needed to steal higher end vehicles. Also tracker jammers and also for breaking into restricted areas. There's lock pick, crowbar, cutoff tool. For hacking, there are USB drivers, auto dialers. Golf equipment, equip, equipment go with a golf ball, golf pewter, golf wedge, golf iron, golf uh, driver. Uh, food and consumables, we got soda, wine, fruit, trauma kit, provides uh, full house regeneration, cigarettes, not specifically named by, but image in a clip is quite obvious, painkillers, not specifically named, but image in clip is quite obvious, vehicles, police cruiser, four towers, police in, uh, interceptor, uh, my bad suk, uh, Sanchez livery, final game will describe livery in vehicles name if applicable, also Korean Rebel, and highly detailed interiors that are extremely customizable. If you want to read through this information by yourself, I'm gonna leave that down in the description if you want to go through it again. House robberies, as it would actually be really sick if during the free roam you can go up to someone's house and apartment and hold them at, gun, at gunpoint and steal what they have. For example, you're broke and you want to upgrade your TV. You can go rob someone's house, steal their items, etc. to upgrade your safe house, also take their money, of course. I notice in every game uh, they lack this feature being able to keep someone hostage. I know in the leaks we've seen them keep someone as a hostage during a robbery, but I hope that it is able to happen in free roam, like imagine all the creativeness to the game that you can add just by doing that imagine sneaking into enemy territory and then forcing them to drop their weapons and, uh, and get down on the floor or something like that. Uh, what are your thoughts about this feature being added? So. Especially, let's say you're in a police chase, right? And you're at the point where they shoot you, let's say that's like three stars, and you can grab someone and make them into a hostage to make them stop firing. Also, there's more information about the online that I'm going to leave down in the description if you want to check it out and discuss it with other people on Reddit. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you in the next one, and peace.